just want to thank you today for joining us. I am Bill Gardicelli, president of UPMC Pinnacle. I am pleased to welcome you uh, to our celebration as we reopen this walk-in entrance that I know you've all been waiting for of our UPMC Pinnacle West Shore Emergency Department. Very exciting. Uh, I know it's been a big inconvenience not to have this open, but we are now open. We appreciate everyone taking the time to be part of this celebration <clears throat> while respecting our request to wear masks and maintain physical distance. I see all of you are doing that very well. I'd like to start by thanking our Hampton Township Commissioners, John Thomas. John, thank you. Nate Silcox, is Nate here? And Al Beanstock, there's Al. Thank you so much for coming out today and for your continued support of UPMC. In addition, I offer a special welcome to our UPMC Pinnacle board members today. And with us is Doug Knighting. Doug, our chairman of the board of UPMC Pinnacle. Thank you, Doug. And thank you for your continued support and being part of the vision of the expanded UPMC West Shore. UPMC Pinnacle's vision for healthcare in our community includes improving access and enhancing integration and coordination of our patients. Guided by this vision, we strive to provide high quality, patient-centered care throughout the region when and where our community members need it. Today we celebrate the next step in connecting residents in Cumberland County and the surrounding communities with world class through the expanded ED and other changes at UPMC West Shore. Since opening UPMC West Shore, believe it or not, six years ago, we have seen incredible growth in the number of patients we treat in this hospital. Because of the amazing care our expert staff provide every day, UPMC Pinnacle West Shore has consistently operated near capacity. And since Cumberland County is the fastest growing county in Pennsylvania, we anticipate an increasing need for high quality healthcare services on the West Shore. With the larger UPMC West Shore Hospital, the UPMC Bowman Cancer Center, and the comprehensive outpatient and specialty services offered on this campus, we are expanding life-changing medicine that our communities need and want. Bringing this vision to life takes a great deal of collaboration and leadership. I'm joined by that team, uh, Lou Baverso, president of UPMC Cumberland Region, Sherry Bechtel, vice president of nursing operations, UPMC Cumberland Region, and Dr. Ruben Modi. Doctor, thank you so much for being here today, medical director of UPMC West Shore Emergency Department. He will share uh, with you next some features of our expanded ED and the hospital. Again, I want to thank everybody for coming out today, and I'd like a warm welcome to Dr. Modi. Doctor. Thank you, Phil. Good morning, everyone. It's a pleasure to be here today. We are thrilled to be opening the expanded emergency department and this renovated walk-in entrance tomorrow. First, I want to thank my fellow UPMC employees, physicians, and volunteers for continuing to provide exceptional patient care while weathering the challenges of construction over the past year. With more than 8,000 square feet of space added, this ED expansion adds seven fully private emergency exam rooms for a total of 27, an additional triage room, and a dedicated behavioral health space, increasing capacity by more than 30%. All rooms are equally equipped 
to help us manage care for the sickest patients and all our critical care capable. One of the other advantages of this ED is that we have advanced imaging services, including a new 512 slice CT scanner, the most precise CT available located within the department. Adjacent to our ED is our cardiac catheterization labs. This allows us to diagnose and get patients the care they will need as quickly as possible. I'm also pleased to share that we've expanded cardiac services by adding 12 new cardiac catheterization lab pre and post operative bays that will open to support UPMC Heart and Vascular Institute, nationally recognized cardiac services. UPMC physicians perform thousands of cardiac catheterization procedures each year in our region. As Phil shared, we frequently operate at capacity. We are so pleased that this expansion allows ED providers and staff to see more patients, reduce wait times, and provide needed emergency care to this community. Thank you for allowing me to share some of the exciting changes happening in our ED. Now, I would like to welcome Sherry Bechtel. so excited to expand the specialty services on this campus by welcoming new providers in pulmonary, oncology, and surgical subspecialties. Through the addition of advanced technologies, medical expertise, and new services, we are better to provide compassion and care to our, ensure our patients have the best possible experience. Last but not least, we're also creating a calming, healing environment and adding 
services and amenities like room service, which allow our patients to order what they want to eat, when they want to eat, again, improving the patient experience. Before we move to the ribbon cutting, I would like to recognize our physicians and employees who amaze me every day. Your compassion, commitment, and vision are incredibly impressive. We can't do this without you. Thank you. I also need to thank our construction team, our project partners, Benchmark, Barton, and Stantec for their creativity and dedication to this project, who worked hand in hand with us, even through a pandemic, to ensure everyone's safety and delivering on time each phase of this project. Thank you again for joining us, and now let's cut the ribbon. Do it. All right, now I'm gonna count down and cut on three, okay? One, two, three.